Thanks, Max. <laughs> Guys, ladies and gentlemen, so much, so much to talk about tonight. We have an excellent show, but we have to address something right away. I don't know if you're aware, if you're a regular viewer or not, but we got ourselves a brand spanking new set. And I think we got uh, this thing. Look at this thing. Beautiful. This thing. You like it? It's nice. I got a new desk here where I can work my magic. <laughs> uh, no, this is, I'm gonna stop touching this. This is erotic. Uh, <laughs> We have a new desk. We haven't had a new set. I don't think, the show started in 93. We had a mustard colored set. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> then we got a new one in 96. This is the first set since then. And look at this, look at this swanky furniture right here. Ah, oh, look at that, isn't that nice? Guests are gonna love that. Uh, it's pretty, we got, look at this panoramic view of uh, New York City right here. Of course when it, <laughs> I love how this, every set has like this view in the background, but we have more of it. <laughs> no, it's really beautiful. It's wonderful to look out there. When it gets cold, this is gonna be a problem, but, uh, <laughs> but I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> Tune in in February and I'd be like, we got a great show tonight. <sighs> Excellent show. Look at, I don't know if you can see these. We have tumors hanging from the ceiling. I don't know. <laughs> What are those things? Can we make, can anything? I have no idea what that is. Can we, can we like soap bubbles. Can we bring, uh, can we bring one of these things down? What are these? Whoa, look at that. Wow, that's great. Those are, uh, those are futuristic. These are pinatas in the year 2040. Hit these and life-giving pills will come out. All right, you can raise that up now. Now folks, we're gonna have these lights lower Whenever the interview starts to get boring, one of these will lower. The light will glow and tell a funny anecdote. <laughs> Did you ever hear about the rabbi and the please? <laughs> Two Irishmen walk into a bar. <laughs> Thanks, Globy. <laughs> and of course, look at this area over here. Is a little, uh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful, that whole performance area right there? I don't know if you're aware. Wait a minute. Please don't applaud a new set. My cynicism will not take that. It is beautiful though. We actually, this is the old gong show set. Do you recognize it? <laughs> I got that from Chuck Barris for $48. <laughs> Max, do you like your area over there? I do, it's warm and comfortable. Yeah. yeah. What the hell was that? It is you always find new ways to creep me out, my friend. <laughs> Look at it, you're wrapped in velvet. Look at you. Yeah, this thing's beautiful. I like it. Yeah, man. The show will be no funnier, but will be wrapped in velvet. Yeah. I think that's gonna be great. Well, I think I am excited about this, and I should mention for the past two weeks that we were on vacation, suckers, um, there has been a fantastic crew working around the clock to get this set together. They worked really hard. I think they did a great job, and I think they uh, deserve some credit for doing this. And I'll applaud them. They did a nice job. They really did do a nice job. Mm. Must. Yet, sadly, hey, that's enough, okay? They got paid, all right? Uh, sadly, though, as with any construction project of this size, there were fatalities that occurred. A lot of people were killed making this set. These accidents, it's not anybody's fault that it happened, but it happened, you know, just putting these globes up alone. So tonight, as a tribute to those who actually gave their lives so we could enjoy this magnificent set, I want to give those people an appropriate farewell. Enjoy.
You can't leave cable lying around. You have to punish those things when they happen. All right. My love goes out to their families, blah, blah, blah. All right. <laughs> the meanest guy in showbiz. Uh-uh.